Hello, it's me, Muex here once again. It's been a long time since last video. <laughs> again, I have been live streaming like uh, RuneScape to my channel and that, but I don't really play RuneScape anymore. And and I would I would like to make a new video of a rare lens. So this rare lens is Canon 25 mm uh, TV16 f 0.78. So it's really uh, big, wide open, the aperture. But the thing is that it's made for film video cameras. Uh, the special thing about it is uh, I kind of need to mod it to do infinitum focus, or actually I really need to if I would want to get infinity focus. So the thing is like now, um, it can be used with micro four thirds cameras. Well, this is a mirrorless camera. So I can make it fit uh, if I focus it really close. So I can only focus close and just a bit and it start to touch the sensor. So I don't really want to use the IBIS, IBIS in body image stabilization. Yeah, that's why I'm rocking my um, crane, crane 2 actually, to get smooth material. Because the lens doesn't have IS or neither I can use the body IS now. Maybe I could, but I'm too pussy to do that because it's it's so really close to the sensor, the back of this lens. It's not really made to be like this, and um, it doesn't even cover fully micro four thirds sensor because it's made for those film cameras. Some of them does, like I have uh, this C mount lens, uh, and I have one lens that covers even APS-C uh, around fully, almost just a bit wind jet. So this is kind of same with micro four thirds. It's, it it wind jets kind of on the corners. So I will most likely be upscaling a bit the material just to get fully covered without so much wind jetting. This, I'm not going for the sharp look with this lens. I'm going to, for the old look, nice bogey and that. Uh, the thing the other thing nice with this lens, sorry for the tracker, the other nice thing uh, with this lens is that it makes the star bokeh when I go like f1.4. It's, um, I think it looks really special, it, it, it makes the bokeh uh, look like stars. That's, that's amazing, that's amazing. But I, I really like to use it at um, f0.78, but actually thing I need to go get now is to get ND filter. It's a really ugly day today so I don't think I will get really extremely amazing material but I will try to get you something to show how amazing this lens is. And it's, Canon has this 25mm f1.4 which is not rare at all. It's uh, like so many people has it. But this 0.78 lens. This is this is rare. This this is really rare. It's like one of the world's fastest lenses, actually. Even though okay, it's not for big sensor cameras, so you can't really count it if you if you're like if you're like transferring it to 35 millimeter full frame camera, it's not really that wide open. Uh, it's like 1.8 or ish ish around there so it's not really that wide there but like when they putting it to the micro four thirds I don't really know is there any faster lenses to micro four thirds that is like native mount okay it's like it kind of covers the sensor uh, without any external other class elements than the lens so it's not native but close enough to me and I show you how the material looks like done with this setup. So Crane 2, Panasonic GH5, Canon 25mm uh, f0.78 and some cheap LED light Viltrox L116T. Let's go!
I'm actually pretty impressed with this whole setup. I didn't even use any Andy filter in here, so you can see the full quality. I will say I did 8 bit 50p 4K 8 bit because I did internal uh, 150 megabits per second, megabytes, which one it is, and I, I like it. Just uh, I got some of the, or uh, actually pretty many of the shots was overexposed so kind of much raised I did there without using ND filter but I was like better to show without ND filter so you really see what you get with the GH5 I will do some grading uh, I have uh, that color corrector chart that card so I about normalize, ne neutralize the colors, about. I have ordered Slider Mini from Indiegogo. I should get it in like one month, so it takes a lot of time, kind of. But give me your opinions on the lens. Did you like the quality? Okay, it's, uh, if you like the sharp look of the like really amazing sharp Sigma lenses, let's say, for example, 50mm art, or 40 millimeter now the new one if you like those looks I don't think you will like this look but I like them both actually so I don't know why did I even say that I prefer film look mostly so I love this lens I just wish I would not need to do modding so I could use the infinity focus and not only use that close focus like I needed to do it now but even with that close focus, I can use this lens as like, let's say, show off some, what I'm reviewing some products or like I'm doing for clients, like product placement stuff, let's say, or something like that. This lens serves amazing for that. Like really good, I, I like it. I like it, it's just so, so natural to me, I don't know. I like the look of this lens. But see ya later, alligator.